Welcome back to GMSA at 9. And now that students are back from the Thanksgiving holiday, it's time for another Science with Sarah class visit. I like how you did Dude. that. <laughs> this morning, yeah. Sarah and her assistant David Sears are at Lighthouse Charter School on the city's west side. All right, and they have a very excited group of fourth graders with them. And Sarah, what are you guys making today? Yeah. Look at these kids. Look at these awesome fourth graders here. We are making baby oil lava lamps. It's a fun, heat-free way to see mixture, solution, and density all working together. David, are you pumped? We're bringing back the 60s, baby. We are lava lamps, man. Lava lamps, groovy. Okay, so here's the things that you're gonna need. You're gonna need a bottle with smooth sides. I went all out. I got an Erlenmeyer flask, okay, Ooh, because it looks science -y. Fancy. You're going to want to get baby oil. This thing is filled with baby oil. That's not water, that's baby oil. Okay, you're gonna want some water. You're going to want some food dye. And you're going to want Alka-Seltzer tablets. The Alka-Seltzer is going to combine with the water. It's going to create some bubbles, and it's going to make our lava lamp. So in the commercial break, David and I filled this up because with a baby oil bottle, they've got these tiny little, uh, little holes there, and it takes a little while to fill. But what I want you to do, David, is I want you to pour some water in here. The water okay. will sink. Keep on going. I'll tell you when to stop. The water will sink. That's good. The water will sink because it's more dense than the oil. Now, you can use any kind of oil, vegetable oil, anything like that. I use baby oil because it's clear and it looks cooler. Okay, then, David, I want you to pick your favorite color. I've got green here all over my hands as well, violet and blue, and you're going to put a good squirt of this in there. A good squirt? Yep, a good squirt. That should be good. That's okay, a good squirt. food dye is mostly water, so it's also going to sink and form a solution with the water down at the bottom. Now for the cool part. Are you guys ready for this part? Yes. Okay, this is an Alka-Seltzer tablet um, that it is broken up a little bit here, but that's okay. Um, Alka-Seltzer contains sodium bicarbonate and citric acid. When those combine with water, it creates carbon dioxide. So David, will you do the honors? They're going to interact with the water here. And look at that. The oh. blue bubbles start popping up. Oh. Isn't that, that cool? That is cool. Look at that. Yeah, and with this, Groovy. you can even do it a little shake, David. A little Groovy. swirl, rather. Groovy. Yeah. And then it'll interact even more. So look at that. That is cool. Oh, it got all over David's hand. Oh, nice. It started to explode a little bit, so maybe don't fill it up all the way, but that's pretty cool. Okay, so you're going to want to make sure it's filled up maybe perhaps a third of the way up, but this is science, and it's safe, so it's fun. All right, everybody say groovy. Groovy! Ah, now, with cool. these kids, what we've done is we've uh, got these little bottles here, so it's a little bit more containable, and it has a lid, so that way it won't explode like that. So coming up, these kids are going to do this science experiment. We're super excited. Hope you'll join us for that. Hey guys, welcome back to Science with Sarah. We're with the fourth graders here at Lighthouse Charter School. Uh, you can see that my lava lamp is uh, fully extinguished, but it's still making some cool colors. These guys are going to add colors to their lava lamp. So why don't you carefully unscrew your lid and add your food dye to your lava lamp. Again, remember there's plenty of time so you can take your turn, it's okay. Just a good squirt. Just a good squirt. Oh, that's a good squirt right there. Oh, that's a good one. A little bit good. more, a little bit more. That's good. Good. Okay, that's going to mix in with the water. Okay, hold on. Give it a good squirt, guys. Yep, that's great. That's great. That's creative. Yeah. Just a little bit. Are we ready for the alka seltzer? Awesome. Okay, guys, before we put the alka seltzer in there, Water and oil, do they make a mixture or a solution? Mixture. They make a mixture, that's right. Okay, so now that you've got your food dye in there, I want you to put an Alka-Seltzer tablet in there and see what happens. Okay, drop it and then put your lid on it. What do you think? Is that cool? Why is it bubbling like that? Because it's a mixture, that's exactly right. Oh my god, it's working! It's working. It's working. It's working. What do you think? 
it's cool. And I know it's gonna get bubbly because the water in the um I just found uh the alka sensor it can it mixed with the water and it makes the water bubble up. That's great. What I like what I like about it is that it felt like when like soda and mentos. Soda and mentos. Yeah, that's exactly right. It is like that. Can I say my line now? What do you want to say? I love you, Mama. And shout out to Jane. Aww. All right. We love you, Mama. <laughs> she looks like orange juice. I that's love cool. My hair. Good. Huh? It's great. Why'd you pick blue? Because it's such a favorite color. It's your favorite color? So you've got a blue lava lamp now. Yeah. That's cool, isn't it? So is that a mixture? What was the mixture? Uh, the baby yo yo and the, and the water. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Y'all learned something. Look at this. Wow. That's pretty cool. What do you think? Cool. It's cool. This is like Yours is like full. How'd you do all that? I like it. Do you? I put a bunch, like about 10 and then I kept on shaking it. So you shook yours up? Mm -hmm. all right, don't let the lid come off. You go home all blue. I think what's great about this experiment is that you can redo it too because once the water and the oil separate again, you just have to add another alpha seltzer cap. It did work. Did you shake it? This is like a classic lava lamp. And that reminds me of when I was yeah, a kid. <laughs> That's what it looked like. You used to have one in your room. I've seen it on and it put it on a stand and it just kind of went back and forth like Does this. Does it glow? This could be an epic prank. Oh, what do you think? You feel like you're in the 60s? <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. Pretty cool, huh? I have been yellowified. Y'all did great. That's awesome. Well, this is, again, this is a really great experiment that you can do at home. It's really important to make sure you have a bottle that has a good tight lid on it because, as you can see, we've had a little bit of fun here today. What did you guys think about this experiment? Yeah. Awesome. And, again, make sure your lid is on tight. You can take it back home and do it again with your parents and show them what you learned about mixtures and solutions. How does that sound? Awesome. Great. Alrighty, guys. Well, thank you so much. Uh, this was a fun Science with Sarah. You can find all of our Science with Sarah experiments on KSAT.com right now. Say bye, guys. Bye. That was awesome. A yes. groovy experiment. Absolutely. And I